And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. The final moments of Roderick Brooks' life are hard to watch. A Harris County deputy shot and killed him after a very short police chase. Brooks was accused of stealing deodorant from a Dollar General store. I caught up with his family's attorney in New York City this weekend. He said there's no doubt Roderick Brooks was executed in cold blood. Get on the ground right now! Justin, looking at that video, how did the family walk away feeling about the case? Well, for one, they walked away feeling disgusted because when we sat and uh, talked to the sheriff's office, they showed us a highly redacted video that was overly edited. Uh, it was only after we pleaded and demanded to see the raw footage, quote unquote raw footage, uh, was when the family actually got a full understanding as to what happened to Roger Brooks. There's still a lot of questions, but from what we saw in that raw, unedited footage, uh, we saw that Roger Brooks was executed in cold blood. Um, so they walked away even more enraged than before uh, because they obviously saw a visual of how their loved one uh, died. What's the next step for the family? Do they pursue this civilly or you wait until the internal investigation is done first? Well, we have no faith in an internal investigation, especially with how uh, the sheriff's office presented the case to the family when we went to go visit with them. We believe that the sheriff's office is trying to sweep this under the rug and they're trying to minimize what uh, their officer did to Roderick Books. So what we're going to do right now is engage in our own civil rights investigation and investigate every single possible claim that the family may have. It's going to be full throttle. How soon before an actual lawsuit is filed? Do you have a timetable for that as of yet? Well, you know, the statute of limitations is two years, but we want to file that as soon as we have everything we need to uh, prosecute a civil rights claim. And we're not going to try and sit back and wait for anything that we don't need to wait for. So we're, we're uncovering every rock right now. We're talking to every witness. We've already spoken to a number of witnesses. So right now we're just waiting to see what other claims may arise. Hopefully we can get some type of evidence of an uh, internal affairs investigation to make our lawsuit more robust. But if not, I think we're ready to go soon. Do you look at this case and say, here we go again, another black man shot and killed by police? Yeah. I mean, at this point, it's really exasperating. And especially with how this case is starting to pan out. I mean, you see this particular officer chase down a black man who was accused of shoplifting deodorant from a Dollar General, a very small crime. But yet the result was something very dastardly and heinous. He murdered him. He shot him in the back of the head, execution style. So although this is similar to all of the other cases that we've seen, it's even worse because you understand the context is something that's very minute. At best, this guy should have been arrested easily. But instead, you had a, you know, a cop that was out of control. And on top of that, with news that this cop had just recently put somebody in the ICU maybe six days prior, and the fact that 10 years ago, he was indicted for killing somebody, um, you know, it smacks of organizational you know, mishandling, uh, negligence, and downright you know, incompetence. And the fact that this could have been prevented, I mean, this cop should have been on administrative leave for putting someone in the ICU just days earlier. He never should have had the opportunity to murder Roger Brooks. But then again, the sheriff's office failed to protect uh, Roger Brooks and the citizens of Harris County. And, you know, I think it just compounds the issue. We have these bad apples, but we have these agencies that uh, enable them. And that's why this is completely, utterly insane. Now, we're highlighting more important conversations like that one from this weekend's Social Justice Summit. This is the only place you can watch the exclusive coverage we put together in New York City over the weekend. Tune in Wednesday night at 1030. You're watching The Factor Uncensored.